okay uh, good morning students and this is shivaj patel and welcome to math chef youtube channel right so yesterday we have discussed about the basic concept of the relation and functions so what the relation is right so we have solved the other equivalence relation yesterday we saw the concept of the equivalence equi equivalence relation right condition is one is if reflexive okay r is reflexive reflexive relation relation if and only if right a r a a r a okay means implies a and a belongs to r right so a is a set on a set equals relation on a set a we need any set na so here and a belongs to a called reflexive means a r a okay right relation should be all a belongs to <coughs> Second one is symmetric. What is symmetric? Symmetric is like mirror, mirror image. Okay. Symmetric relation. If and only if. Okay. A R. Okay. Relation A R implies A R B. Right. Implies B R A. That is. That is. A B belongs to R, and B implies right. Can tell also B A set order pair belongs to R. Therefore, for all A and B belongs to A. Right. Third one is okay. First question is reflexive. Second symmetric third one is transitive. Transitive. Transitive means if the two elements are the same, if one element and second element are same, and second and third element are same, then one and third element are same. Translating okay, transitive from A to C, skipping by B, because B is the a standard position. It becomes okay. B is equal to A, B equal to C. So A is transitive from A to C. That's called transitive, right? Transitive relation. If and if only, right? A R B and B R A implies that A R C A to C. Okay, that is okay. Harder pair. A B belongs to R and B and C. This is C. And B C also belongs to R. This implies that. A is related to C, right? For all A, B, C belongs to A. It is called equivalence relation on set A. If three conditions are satisfied for set any set on set, then the set is called equivalence relation. Set has equivalent equivalence relation, right? These are the first one is reflexive. Second one is symmetric. Symmetric means mirror A B B A. Third one is transitive. Third one, the transitive means B is in between. Okay, B is in between. So A becomes B. I like that the post of this is zero. Uh, <coughs> send the post of to one office and will send send it to the other office. Okay, B is the mediator only here. Okay, so A B belongs to R and B C belongs to R. Then A C belongs to R. So R is called Equivalence relation. Today we study the next class of this equivalence class. Okay, how these examples gives us the the new subset. Okay, the very peculiar chapters is in the set relation. Equivalence is very 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 peculiar. It gives a very different and interesting uh, chapter. Okay, let's consider the one set R is equal to A B such that 
ओके सर ए माइनस बी राइट गिवन मॉड नॉट मॉड यस ए माइनस बी इज डिविजल बाय इज डिविजिबल बाय टू ओके एंड ए बी बिलोंग्स टू जेड इन जेड वैल्यू वन क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द बुक्स द आर इज डिफाइंड एज दैट ए बी such that a minus b is divisible by 2 and a belongs to z a means a minus infinity to positive number positive infinity and b also minus infinity to positive infinity okay for this let's check the <coughs> which one uh, reflexive symmetric and transitive relation let's check the basic one okay first one is so check the relation okay reflexive reflexive okay for this okay if okay a r a okay this implies that a minus a is equal to 0 right zero is divisible by 2 or not yes sir zero is divisible by 2 yes zero you can write zero into 2 you can write you get zero answer na See sir, very important concept here. Zero by two. How to write? Okay, this is the zero. Something is here. Okay, if you tag the any p by q, something divides. Then you can write this as p is equal to q into r. Right. I will take the example also. Step by step. Okay, okay sir. This is the class twelve mathematics and uh, questions are C. Wherever there is the pure mathematics, na. Questions are only in ideological level. They are understand uh, easy, but they are the simple language. Now nah? they will get the quite complex. Okay, basics. So zero how zero divided by two is zero. Like that. Nah? This is the basics. If you fail in this basics, na, nah? so that's why this math becomes our difficult. Uh, right. Right. Let us consider what the value. Take simple value, three by two. Okay, three by two. So this place can write three as two into one plus one. Remainder term you know, right? And this is the possible way. So similarly, it, it then it is possible. Then I can say this is two is divided by three. Similarly, we can write four by two. Okay, okay. It is not divisible. Okay, two is not divisible here. Okay, three is not divisible. Three. I am writing as three is not divisible by by two because there is a one positive remainder. For division, have to take the get the zero remainder. Okay, less four. So four can I write as two into two. Plus zero, zero meter, right? So imply that four is equal to two into two. So four is divisible by by two, right? Take this zero, okay? Zero is divisible by or not? We don't know. Let's check. See, zero can I write as two into okay? I need to add it. Two into zero because any value getting zero, zero. So here, see similarly, if two is multiplied, so four by two is equal to two, right? One two is here, and one send the one two to the denominator to the left side because two is the two two is the get the get answer. Similarly, for implies if I take it two by zero by two, still I am getting zero answer, right? If I send it to to the denominator left side with the mathematical principle, I'll get the answer. Yes, for zero is divisible by by two. So many students, this is remembered as a identity standard. Yes, yes, zero divided by two, two. No, 
This is the rationality. Why it is 0 divided by 2? Let's take the 2 by 0. Right? So this is what C for this I should get any value, 2 value, if it is multiplied by 0. Any value. 0 multiplied by any value. So this goes to so I should get any value something else. So this implies that 2 is equal to P into 0. But here right side we have 0, left side we have 2. Right side we have 0, left side we have 2. That's why, is it? So this is not equal to right P something else. Take any value. 2 never becomes 0 in condition. Therefore, 0 is okay, not okay. 0 is not a divider. 0 is not a 0 does not divide any number. 0 is not a divider. Okay. Therefore, this is called we write this as an infinite, not defined. Also, not defined. Anything by 0. Okay. Anything by 0 is not defined. 0 by anything I can write. Then 0 is not, 0 is not divider. 0. The basic concept. Okay. 2 by 0 is 2 by 0 is not defined. 0 by 2 is defined. Right. Let's come to our topic. Okay. So, okay, in this condition, right? 0 is, yes, 2 is divisible by, 2 is divisible by, divisible by, 0 is divisible by, right? 0 is divisible by, by 2 because we can write 0 is 0 by 2 is 0. That's therefore R is reflexive. Therefore here R is reflexive. R is reflexive. Right? Second one is right. Symmetric. Symmetric. You have to understand the basic basic concept. Okay. <coughs> hmm. But they see A and B belong to Jetna. Any numbers positive or negative. Integers. Right. Second one is symmetric. Symmetric. Here. Very important concept is have the main steps. Okay. For symmetric, A or B implies by condition A minus B. Right? Is divisible by 2. Is divisible by, by 2. How? Let's take which one? A is equal to A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 2. Yes. 0 minus 2 is equal to minus 2 by 2 is equal to minus 1 divisible by. I take the A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 0. You will get 2 minus 0. 2 by 2 will get 1. And uh, A is equal to 0 and B is equal to minus 2 will get 0 plus 2 and 2 by 2 is equal to 1 and a is equal to minus 2 b is equal to 0 will get minus 2 minus 0 is equal to minus 2 by 2 is equal to minus 1. Why I am writing this one is to show the <coughs> to show the how the 0 behaving here right and how 2 is behaving with respect to 0. Where is the 0? Right. How 2 is behind respect to 0? Okay. Next. This set. Right. This set I am writing as 
A B here A B belongs to R such that either zero plus or minus two right can right belongs to R. Right sir. A B very important here. C either have take the one is zero should be. I should here take one value as zero and two value as zero. Another is even number. This is okay. And zero is plus or minus four belongs to R also, right? Similarly, all R numbers. All R numbers. Okay. Can I write here as plus or minus two K belongs to R and K belongs to the Integer, okay. What any value? Again, scan Q B A. Number R, integer. It belongs to whole number. All number integer. I don't know. Yeah, random values. Okay. Again, C. This value is. Can I write this one as B minus A? Right. This is right now. Now. A minus B is implies B minus A. Okay, and this also this way too, right? So B minus A minus B minus A also is divisible by two. Divisible by two. Therefore, A R. B implies B R A. Okay, here you should not see the sign. Whether it is divisible by two or not, that's our condition. A minus B is divisible by two or not, that is our condition. Therefore, A B belongs to R and B A belongs to R and A B belongs to for all. It belongs to capital E, Z, right? Z. Okay, as it flexes you, it flexes you. Okay, there I wrote not write the exam. Okay, this one check. That right? A belongs to A is a reflexive and A belongs to for all Z, right? Just okay. for all A belongs to Z, capital Z. Right, so here therefore R is symmetric. R is symmetric. Oh, okay. One thing I forgot again. Again here, I take only even number. Okay, all number take the one. Okay, sir. If take the A is equal to one and B is equal to three, I will get one minus three is equal to minus two. Very important. Very good too. Again, if I take the a is equal to minus one and b is equal to which one? Minus three. Again, I will get minus four. Again, it's divided by two. Right? This is one minus two at b. Okay. And if a is equal to one, take the other numbers. And b is equal to five. Can I write? Again becomes minus four. You can get your by minus four, right? Okay. The here is minus one again. So only one can take positive negative, positive negative, right? Here also very important thing to consider. One gives to the all values. One related to the all values here. Zero related to the all values. Zero is related to the all values. Similarly, here can write a, okay, a and b, okay, implies okay is equal to okay one plus or minus two k plus one. Very important thing, really, okay. Two k plus or minus one and k belongs to whole number. Again, sir, any number, just a number, <coughs> right? Important. This is zero. Zero is equal to two, and one is equal to 
even number and this is odd number. It is symmetric, I am telling, right? It is symmetric also, it is holds good. Okay. Next one is transitive. Next one is transitive. Transitive. Okay. Let's take the next examples again. If okay, A R B and B R A implies A R C. Our condition statement is there. Therefore, so can I write this one as A minus B is equal to two Q multiplication because and again B minus C is equal to two Q dash because. Uh, Divides means a minus b is equal to 2. You will get some value. a minus b divides by 2 means you will get some value. Therefore, a minus b is equal to 2 q. Just add, sir. Okay. Add a minus b plus b minus c is equal to 2 into q plus q dash. This can write as b we get cancelled. a minus c by 2 is equal to q plus q dash, right? Divided, we get the exact one value. It is zero, zero, zero remainder. Therefore, R is also transitive. Okay? I am keeping this one as a result. Okay? R is also transitive. Okay? R is transitive and not ready. Therefore, R is transitive and again, therefore, R is transitive for all A, B, C belongs to Z, capital Z. Right? Just see, sir. Okay? Just see the curves. Okay? Just see the sets right now. Very important to tell the, to inform the XM classes. 0 plus or minus 2 0 plus or minus 4 okay up to 0 plus or minus 2k belongs to r can i call this one as r1 another set and this okay and 1 plus or minus 3 and 1 plus or minus 5 up to 1 plus or minus 2 k plus 1 and belongs to R2 right see R1 and R2 okay sir R1 and R2 are related to okay sir R1 is related to 0 okay sir R1 is very important are related to 0 related to 0 very important. Similarly, R2 is related to 1. Okay, sir. This is see, from 0, we are generating the condition, putting the 0 as condition, I am getting the 2, 4, even numbers. For 1, you are getting 3, 5, 2k plus 1, R numbers. I mean, 0 is a deciding factor here. 0 is a deciding factor. Means it is Equating with equating the all conditioning the all terms. Equating, conditioning, mathematicalizing, conditioning, and even giving result many definitions. All the remaining terms must be one zero is one, but gives the generates the infinite numbers with condition. This is called equivalence class. Okay, sir. Therefore, zero is called equivalent class of R1. Okay, this is how it See, R is related to 0, right? The technical name is related means yes. Okay, R1 is related to each other 0 and with 0 and 2k. Okay. There you are, and 0 and 3. 
टू के प्लस वन आर वन रिलेटेड टू जीरो एंड टू के एंड आर टू रिलेटेड टू वन एंड टू के प्लस वन देर फॉर जीरो इज कॉल ओके सर इक्वेंट प्लस आर इज आर इज ओके सर डेफिनेशन इज आर वन इज अगेन टेल दी वन नंबर आल्सो दे गिवन बुक के ई नंबर ई आर वन इज इक्विवेलेंट क्लास इक्विवेलेंस क्लास कंटेनिंग कंटेनिंग जीरो एंड डिनोटेड बाय ठीक है सर जीरो दिस इज़ द क्लोज मार्केट राइट इज़ इक्वल टू टू के आर वन इज़ इक्विवेलेंस क्लास कंटेनिंग जीरो Yes, what the exact definition name is, right? Yes, R is called subset. Okay, this is called subset. Subset. Okay, which is R one not our subset of the R. Okay, Z. R one is a subset of Z, and R two is subset of Z. Okay, to avoid the confusion, we will show the books. Okay, books uh, example. Because R one becomes not become the real number, right? Okay, E. So this is E set, and this is O R number set, and this is R, right? Okay, E one number is subset of Z, and R number also subset of Z. Okay, sir, this is E, right? E is E one number. R O is R number. E is related to zero and two K, and O is R number set is related to one and two K. Okay, right. So E is equivalence class containing zero implies denoted by zero is containing two K. Right. Similarly, O is subset O. Okay, definition. Subset O is okay, sir. Equivalence class, right? Equivalence class containing containing one denoted by okay close bracket is equal to two k plus one. Like that. This is the definition. And one thing is okay, sir. E and okay, which one? E and O R. Okay, just take the E and intersection of O. You will get finite. Okay, empty set. Okay, you can tell us right also, right also, empty set. These are called okay, sir. Mutually okay, sir. Mutually disjoint. This. Joint, mutual recall is a joint set is a called again. Okay, or the given is mutually disjoint subsets. Very good, right? Just see the here zero is the end here. Okay, I can tell now. Zero is not equal to one. For any set, so set E is not equal to O subset, right? Equals plus E and Z. So by this operation, okay, sir. By this R, the R is the R operation relation creates makes two mutually disjoint subsets. Okay, sir. Two mutually disjoint. Subsets. It has a relation. Yes, it has a reflexive, it has a symmetric, and it has a transitive. Again, it has a peculiar quality, peculiar property, the property where this condition. Okay, so A minus B is divided by two makes a Z into two mutually disjoint subsets. That's why called. Okay, sir. So R is. Okay, sir. So that's why called. This is called equivalence class. Right? It's called. Equivalence class. Okay, 
or equivalence relation. Okay, equivalence class of a element is really important. Right? Equivalence class of a and equivalence class of one. Okay, let's see the definition. Okay, the exact definition of the book. Yes, definition is okay. My handwriting is okay. Mostly, not up to the mark. Let's see. I'll read it. Let okay, sir. This is the book's definition. Very important. It's not uh, okay. In board exam also you can write, but in uh, counter exam is not necessary. But only see instead of telling by our methods, na it may create some okay confusion. So, I follow the book. Let R be an okay. What is the equivalence class? The definition of the equivalence class. Let R be an equivalence relation. E must be divisible by two. That is relation. Okay. On set A, on set Z, we take an example now. If A belongs to A, right? That zero belongs to zero plus two K belongs to zero Z. Then set of all. Okay, sir. Set of all elements X belongs to A. Again, two K three K, right? Such that X R A means two K. Okay. X R A minus two two minus zero three four minus zero. Six minus zero, ten minus zero, hundred minus zero. Okay, right like that. He is called the equivalence class. Okay, set the set of the all elements x belongs to a such that x are the set obtained, the subsets obtained created by this condition, this relation a minus b divided by two is called x are is called equivalence class of a of a. Okay. Equals class of A subset of equals class A and is divided by okay so close bracket of A this is the derivation thus set okay sir so this is a subset of equals class A is equal to x such so that x belongs to A the relation condition is x R A x related to A like that two R A two R zero four R zero hundred R zero Ten thousand are zero. Like that, even numbers, small even numbers. Like that, one are three, two, three are five. Okay, one are five, one are eleven. Odd numbers, small odd numbers. Okay. Next condition is okay. Okay, so next important definition there. If R is an equivalence relation on set A. Okay, sir. If is if again if R is an equivalence relation on set A, right? Then R divides A into mutually disjoint subsets, right? It makes na if A minus B divided by two in the Z, it creates zero two K and one three two K plus one. Two mutually disjoint subsets called partitions of A. Yes, sir. Called partitions of A. Okay. Some notations are there. All partitions of it, right? Now, right? Somewhere else here. Okay. This is the case. A I and A J. J are the called partitions, right? A and J. And uh, okay, sir. Whatever it may be, I is not equal to J. This is mutually disjoint subsets. Mutually disjoint subsets. And okay, sir. <coughs> Any turn, any number. Okay, union of all A I is equal to A. Right? Any sum, sum of the union of all these numbers. Right? And again, and union of okay A I intersection of A J. Two sets is five, right? Five. How do I write this? Five is yes, five. For I not equal to J. For I not equal to J. This is five. Okay. This is the case. Then A is a subset of equivalence class. Okay. Then A is a subset of Plus class, okay. What are the functions? Plus classes, okay. Subsets, okay. Subsets. 
सबसेट्स ए आई आर इक्वीवेलेंस क्लासेस ए आर इक्वीवेलेंस क्लासेस राइट और इस इक्वेलेंस क्लास ऑफ बिगिनिंग टाइम के लिए ओके और इस इक्वेलेंस क्लास वे आर टेकन दी ए एस बी डिविजिबल बाय टू इन ए जेड पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव इंटीजर्स Z. So from there we get the one. We solve the symmetric reflexive solution. A minus A zero divided by two S and take the symmetric A minus B and B minus A both are divided by two, right? And take the transitive A minus B and B minus C both are divided by two. So A minus C is divided by two proved. So we proved R as a A minus B divided by two is a relation. Proved as is the equivalence relation on Z. So then it created zero two k zero two zero four zero five plus or minus two plus or minus four plus or minus six up to two two plus or minus two k. So it given the some different elements from the jet. It taken the different elements. Okay. Again one and three and uh, one and five plus or minus five plus or minus three plus or minus seven plus or all odd numbers. It taken the it created the two. Okay, sir. Mutually disjoint, disjoint sets. Disjoint means one's member should not be different from the other number, other members, elements, right? That's a disjoint. Mutually disjoint means completely different set. This is different set from the same set divided, right? That is called then the generating element. Okay, the common element, the basic element is zero. Is called equivalence class. R is containing equivalence element. R is containing the zero. Or generated by containing the element zero is called equivalence class. Okay, sir. Equivalence class generated by closed bracket. Okay, closed bracket of A. That's all. This is the basic. Okay, sir. Very important concept. Only in this chapter for the relation, especially the concept of relation. This is the whole chapter. Okay, sir. Whole concept. Next term only we solve the what suggest so the symmetric so the reflexive so the transitive so the reflexive symmetric transitive same questions only. Actually we solve the one now. Question is J W main subject of the shift form. Same basic work here only. So we solve the next class and some questions. And uh, next chapter is uh, uh, functions. That's have the most potential topic for this chapter. We will know more questions will be asked only that uh, function chapter. It's okay. अच्छा सी आई स्पेल दी इक्वेलेंस क्लास विद द बुक एग्जांपल एम एस पी डिविजन बाय 2 सो यू ऑल हु आर रेडी एंड वाचिंग दिस क्लास प्लीज गो थ्रू दी सेम एम एल अग्रवाल वैल्यू 1 ओके फॉर सेकंड यू सी बिकॉज़ ना द वाचिंग सेम क्लास एंड रीडिंग सेम बुक्स एंड योर नॉलेज मीट्स मार्जिन राइट अदरवाइज ना अगेन द डिफरेंट बुक्स गिवन द डिफरेंट एलिमेंट डिफरेंट कांसेप्ट्स Different method of proof. Mathematics is completely unlimited. Even can proof in different ways. What is need? We should get the answer methods, right? Especially this is like pure mathematics. Okay. Uh, we should in class also should save the follow book and first also solve the follow. And firstly, up to class twelve, right? After graduation, post graduation, you have the complete liberty and the freedom to choose any books, any standard books because of the. Mature enough to grasp any difficult concept easily, but this at this age have to follow some standard basics. Okay, no? That's the teaching very important for the up to class, uh, up to class uh, the under graduation only. So after graduation fifty fifty, but after high school and college teaching is only because the teachers makes the complex things easy. Okay, and again used to back to you that easy things and to solve the complex things. Okay. This will make the complex too easy, and again will give the complex questions because you should think yes, this is easy. I can solve any complex problem because if you do, do not knowing the basic concept, if you want to solve these complex problems, so it gets bored. Okay, that's why called math difficult, science is difficult, physics is difficult. That's the basic misconception. So please comment any comment back, give the feedback, and this is the second PUC chapter. <coughs> Okay, and uh, have the plan to solve. The, okay, teach the all volume one for volume one, volume two for the class eleven, and volume one and two for the class twelve. So for whole this year, 
and okay any miss guiding and mistakes and miss pronunciations and okay miss repetitions on the board please let me know okay thank you thank you for watching and uh, thank you very much bye